Here I'm going to make a capacitor. All you need is some aluminium foil, some self-adhesive book covering, sticky tape and some insulated wire. I don't know the value yet but soon we'll be able to find out by measuring it. The first thing to note is that a capacitor is just two plates separated by an insulator or dielectric. To make the capacitor compact you can have several layers and wind it up in a spiral. This wire is going to be our capacitor's leads. Possibly the weak point of the capacitor are the connections between the leads and the foil. Because foil doesn't take solder, so we'll just have to use sticky tape to hold it on. Now we just need some self-adhesive book covering to ensure that the pieces of foil don't touch one another. We'll put some more book covering on the other side and do the same for the other foil. As for the dimensions, it's about 4 by 11 centimetres, not critical at all. So we now have our two pieces of foil. There's book covering over them, so there's no possibility of them coming into contact. We now have our two capacitor plates and capacitance meter. This is with the plates side by side. We'll move them over so they overlap and the capacitance will increase. This is with about six millimeters overlap. I'm not applying any pressure. Now, of course, if I press it down with my fingers, the capacitance increases greatly. Here, I'm about half overlapped, and here, fully overlapped, about 60 picofarads. Now, if I apply some pressure, we've made a crude compression trimmer. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but I'm already getting 340 picofarad. In fact, close to 400 picofarad. So, if you wanted to make, say, a crystal set, didn't have a variable capacitor, then something like this made out of aluminium foil and some self-adhesive book covering would be fine. The main thing is that it wouldn't be very stable in its capacitance because it does require you to apply a certain amount of pressure and if the pressure varies, then so will the capacitance. If you wanted a finer adjustment of capacitance, then you have it like this. So here we're at 18 or 19, 28, 44, 54, 63. We're overlapping around 80 and then when we press hard it's nearly 300. Our next thing, if we want to make it a fixed capacitor, is to roll it up like this. The capacitance value won't be very stable, especially if you press it in and out. But we'll just apply some tape Like so. Not the smallest of capacitors, but in a non size critical application, it would be fine. It reads 603 picofarad. I'll apply a bit of pressure over a nanofarad and I'll let go down to about 560. I'll just stand on it 
I haven't got a plate underneath. But it's getting towards 2 nanofarad. And I flattened it as a result. So there we have it. A simple homemade capacitor. Just some aluminium foil, a piece of wire, and some self-adhesive book covering. You should be able to make it in various sizes for values up to about 1 nanofarad. And you can set it up so you can vary the overlap of the plates and make it variable as well.